Welcome back everybody to a brand new Seabolus. We are here and back in action and look, I've expanded on my farming space. Isn't this wonderful? I thought it was pretty nice. Um imagine this but just more, more and further. Um and more and more. Um yeah, other than that, I mean, I've been busy. I've been busy. You can see here a couple of different things that I wanted to explain. First and foremost, right out of the get go, is you actually take I'll just demonstrate here quickly. I don't have a seed, but you take Inferium Essence and you place it down on the ground. Bam! On your farmland, and it turns it to Inferium Farland. And what basically happens is, um, if I can get one, bingo, we actually get a higher chance, or a chance. I'm not sure if regular farmland drops it at all, but to get more Inferium seeds. So, as you can see, I'm building out all of my Inferium as you can see here also under the magical seeds i finished up all of the tier ones and a couple of the elemental seeds that you see here as well um so let's collect all of those as well uh so yeah i have dirt seeds i have wood seeds i have stone seeds and ice seeds so these are the three the four tier ones and then over here i got my fire and my water that i've made so far of the elemental um kind of grid if you if you catch my drift if you catch my drift all right um in the meantime though i also made a mega torch so that i had to deal with less um guys spawning around basically and i've worked over here to basically make a little bit of a manual charcoal farm uh so that we don't run out or use our coal and stuff like that but i've also mined a whole bunch of stuff including a couple of different things so Let's first and foremost grab ourselves another stack of redstone here. And let's go through all of the things that I've done so far. Um, so I'm currently working on some red alloy. We got our cobalt, uranium. We got this guy here, which is our zinc. We got osmium, glowstone, and nether quartz, as you guys can see. We're up to 75 diamonds by using the diamond mesh with the uh, overworld matter. Uh, so really good levels there on the diamond front. All good things. Um, I've cleaned up most stuff. I still haven't done the blaze stuff yet. And everything else is feeling pretty good overall. We're pretty much maxed out on a lot of different resources, uh, which is great, but also bad. Um, how did I fix? So I had a problem with my sand. I was running out of sand. As you can see, I've also ran out of red sand. Uh, the way I fixed it was an igneous extruder. This thing works <laughs> like, like really works. Um, it is so fast. It's not even funny. So I think one of my goals here is I have to upgrade all the rest of this two igneous extruders and really kind of up our ante there on that end but there's a large part of me i just expanded on the big farm over there and i kind of want to just keep going with that if you know what i mean but you know it's it's one of those things so i'm going to disable this for one quick second uh oh god never gonna be able to get it back never getting nope never coming back never getting it back <laughs> there we go <laughs> Fixed it. Fixed it. All right. Um, but basically, the reason I'm doing this is I actually need four red sand. And I want to fix my red sand here with this igneous extruder. And the reason I'm... The way I'm going to do that is right here. Right there. I am going to replace that bottom block with red sandstone. Which is what's required to kind of maximize out your red sand output as bad as it sounds but i'm pretty excited for it at the same time so i'm gonna wait for four of that and in the meantime we are going to do another craft so in here we are going to throw down our inferium blocks yes indeed i sat there for quite some time with my watering can spreading those guys around and i got everything that i needed to do this craft right here Boom! Let's go. 
Let's get ourselves our Inferium Infusion Crystal. Very nice. Very nice. Beautiful. Okay. So what this allows us to do when we look at, again in that magical crops, it allows us to get Prudentium Essence, which is just four around it. Pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy. But I did want to craft one of these just for the quest and for science, right? Let's get that done. And away we go. Beautiful. So the next one up is obviously the Prudentium um, block, which is crazy. But that did also... Uh, I don't remember where it opened it. Is it here? Oh, yeah. All the tier two seeds have now opened. Nice. So one of those is like the coal seeds here. So coal seeds, you need Prudentium essence. You need coal right which we have and the prosperity seed base now i'm not sure there's no like seed or anything of prudentium as far as i'm aware am i correct in this you can do prudentium farmland though and growth accelerators let's just see if there's a seed quickly um with the uh the big old things screaming in our ears over there Coal, aluminium, honey, copper, rubber, fish, appetite. See, there's some really good seeds in here. Dye, slime. Ooh. Slime. Nature. Turtle. Does that give me scoot? Because I've struggled to get that. <laughs> yeah, so there's some nice ones in there. Not iron, though, which is a little bit too bad, but that's okay. For the most part, though... I think getting into this might be a good way to go. The coal seeds might be nice to have. Let's just power through it here. So like is, like you can see, right, with all of this Inferium and everything, we're going to need a lot of this stuff to really get these tier 2 seeds good and down, right? But I think having coal seeds would be a very nice uh, plus, a very nice boon in our hat here to really just kind of up our game. I also saw something about chicken seeds in there, which was pretty cool as well. Um, that might be also very, very useful to get some of the animal seeds and stuff like that and not have the moo-moos and the, all that noise next door, if you know what I mean. All right, boom and boom. Let's craft that guy up. And this will give us coal seeds. Couple of nice things with this. I mean, all that charcoal stuff that I was talking about there and, you know, cooking and all that. Well, with this, I think you can use the output of this to kind of cook in a lot of different varieties. So I'm just going to throw this guy down right there. I am going to go and grab some Inferium. Nice. We got another seed. Beautiful. Uh, and throw it down underneath it as well. So when you do have a plant planted, it is hard to kind of get the soil, but you can just kind of scroll down to the bottom of that hitbox there on the screen, and you can find the location to place it. So that's really, really good. Uh, just a fun little tip for you. You don't have to remove your, your growth and everything to, to keep on keeping on. All right, let's get our red sandstone. We should have all of that. One, two, three, four beautiful and red sandstone excellent okay let's go disable this guy right here boom like so and we'll just do this and we'll do this good good granite yes yes granite that's what we wanted yes indeed <laughs> all right uh let's just remove all right we got to do this quick boom and boom Nice. Okay, we got that. We got that. That's good. Um, the granite, uh, I don't really care. We'll put that away. We'll put that away as well. And let's just get a bucket of water here. Because a stream of water, like a standard, uh, you know, ordinary cobble gen, does not work for these igneous extruders, as we found out. So we can throw that guy down there. And we should be producing red sand at a much higher rate. That is excellent. Okay, now we just need to connect it into the system. And I forgot my logistics pipe. I still haven't fixed that. <laughs> uh, maybe one day. Probably not. Probably not. 
I, I, I'm a perpetual liar. Ask anyone else. All right. Boom and boom, boom. Beautiful. Okay. Nice. So now we're producing red sand at the same rate as what we're producing regular sand. And we've saved ourselves a couple of block breakers, which we might still use for some other things in due time. Okay, so anyways, we're going to store some of this stuff in our backpack, the watering can I don't need. Um, I got a lot of other stuff on me, and some of that stuff is, well, an enchanting table. Let's get it. I know, right? What? We haven't used one of these in a long time. But I did want to grab a quick little enchanting table here, and I got myself some bookshelves. Five. Ten. Good. Nice, nice. Um, block, please. There we go. I, I'm just doing this temporary. This is a temporary setup. One, two, one, two, and one. There we go. Okay, there's level 30. Aha, so you cannot enchant the Tinker's Tools. I honestly was just really curious if you could. You can enchant the... Uh, the enchanting gadget, though, with Silk Touch. Interesting, interesting. I think I've gotten a whole bunch more. Four more? Oh, nice. Four more stacks of clay, too. Oh, okay, good stuff. All right, so the enchanting table's cool. We are going to need that because what I want to build right now is <clears throat> something with a little bit of protection. These thrashers have been nothing but annoying for a long, long time. And right now, I would like to do something about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a little bit of diamond armor. Why not, right? It's good stuff. Cover me with diamonds indeed. There we go. Okay, so diamond armor, very nice. We've we've worked our way up. We do have a lapis. I want to grab that, and we're going to throw some enchants. Actually, I'm curious if we have the mod to keep the lapis in the enchanting table or not. That's always a nice one to kind of be surprised about, in my opinion. So, anyways. Uh, so, we're going to throw that in there, and let's see what we got. We got an unbreaking three. We got a shadow step. I don't even know what that is. Unbreaking three and unbreaking three. You know what? I'm going to risk the chest piece first. Blast protection four, unbreaking three. Okay. Okay. Depth strider three. Uh, yeah. Unbreaking three. I think we got to go with the depth strider, right? Blast protection. We're doing it. Okay. All right. All right. Aqua affinity. What do you think the odds are that I get respiration? Ah, shucks. Oh, and that's a bad one too. Okay, it does not keep the lapis. Hmm. I kind of want to re-roll the helmet, but I am out of levels now, so. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to hold off. we got to get more levels just from... Collecting furnaces and killing mobs. Well, I mean, I do have a mob farm. Not a good one, but I do have one. Um, Maybe I go get a couple of levels? Question mark? Uh, no, nah, you know what? Not, not right now. I got to show you guys something else that I've been working on. And for that, I have to remove this guy. And show you what's down below. What's up? I have been working on uh, basically a lower base here. And this is one of the reasons I wanted the diamond armor and such, because thrashers and all that jazz keep kind of bugging me. Guardians and sorts. So, yeah, I've been using some, uh, some concrete. Been upping my game a bit. Uh, you know what? Let's just use this. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I've kind of been up in my game down here in the water, um, having a pretty good time building, uh, which is good. But at the same time, I keep getting interrupted by pesky sharks and whatnot. So uh, I'm very happy to 
be kind of floating around in here with a little bit more confidence that maybe the diamond armor will keep me alive. Maybe. Um, but yeah, all things together, it's going pretty good. I like the overall idea. I'm obviously going to be going with an elevator of sorts to kind of go between the levels. And I want this to be a nice big open space. So... I think I'm successfully creating that at this point in time, and I like my little color scheme so far. Um, I am a little bit concerned about some of the dark spots, but uh, yeah, using this double compressed smooth stone or compressed smooth stone is a pretty nice block, actually. I really like the rigid black that you can design off of as well compared to the more uh, subtle, you know, subtle items that we see here as well the other thing that i'm gonna have to do here is probably find some way to more or less keep everything in check um like i'm gonna have to build walls here and a ceiling before i can really truly drain this water out so again building underwater not a lot of fun to say the least because you got to deal with the water so i do recommend you know, if if you're new to building or things like that, uh, underwater might not be for you. Just saying. I think I'm going to go... I think I'm going to do this, though. Right? Little sea lanterns in the corners. I'm going to have to definitely get more uh, sea lanterns overall, though. Because I do not have enough uh, for this build uh in the slightest so yeah the depth strider on those boots are helping a lot my movement and mobility down here is amazing i love it i don't even want to like swim it's so good um yeah i'm a big fan okay well water breathing slowly starting to wear off uh here we are down under the sea it's gorgeous though isn't it i absolutely love it absolutely love it so um yeah that's that's down here that's down here nothing too crazy i think i'm going to i don't know i'm i'm debating do i build a temporary wall or not i'm gonna keep working on that as i go here because i think that there's still a lot more that i need to think out with the build but i hope you guys like what i've started but I've also a part of me is like man look at the farms coming in like if i can start farming all the things maybe maybe i just start farming maybe we just go farm acrylic you know Ooh, nice we got uh whatchamacallit too that is sweet magical fertilized essence Another one. Woo wee. We are lucky. Um, but yeah, so lots of good things. Uh let's just Yeah. You. Nope. Uh you. Alright, well, I gave it a shot. Alright, so I decided I did want to actually let's make a weapon, right? I've kind of been rocking the copper hand axe <clears throat> for the most part this entire time. And I figured, you know what, let's make a cleaver, right? Let's up our game a little bit here and get some nicer stuff, to say the least. Um, okay, I do got a little bit of cobalt. Let's, you know what, let's smelt this guy up first. Um, and see what we can do. I think I'll just go... I don't know what the plate should be. Let's take a look at the plates first and foremost. I haven't looked at these at all. I think it's just a matter of speed and durability, right? So, yeah, I mean, experience might be good. Maybe I do an electron plate. I might do an electron plate. That seems like a good idea. Let me just get a couple more of these because I think there's a quest for 64 cobalt ingots. Uh, first and foremost, and then we can smelt up the rest that we need accordingly. Ah, there we go. There was. Excellent. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be for the blade. The tough handles, I believe, are three each still. Okay. Uh, nine and... I mean, do we have a writable? Writable? 
no not really one two three four okay let's melt up that um and see what that gets us right so we're gonna do broad blade and then i'm gonna need eight electrum uh for the plate i think that's a good idea i don't really know for sure but anyways we'll do this let's get ourselves the blade itself the cleaver blade to chop things up and then all of the tough handles as well Okay, good. Now, I think the only upgrade to this would be Manulin, um, if I recall. Uh, I'm not positive on that, but I think that's the case. All right, so we should have three remaining. That's good. And then let's start smelting up the Electrum while we wait for this to complete. There we go. We'll throw down the large plate cast and sooner or later here. There we go. And pour that out. Beautiful. Okay, so this should give us, I think, a pretty strong tool. As far as I'm aware, anyways, it should be strong. Um, let's bring back... Ah, uh, no, you know what? It can stay in there. It can stay in there. There we go. And the Electrum Plate. I think this is a good choice. I like this choice. I'm happy with this, so let's go with it. All right, so boom, boom, and boom. There we go. A cleaver. Nice. Okay. So, and then from there, I think I could add, like, sharpness to it to make it stronger, right? So, we could do, like, this. Okay, so it's 36. I don't want to overdo it. So, let's just do the 36. Upgrades and abilities. Beheading 2 experienced and lightweight and now sharp so this is 10 hearts this is now 11.79 can i do it again i can okay let's get a little bit more of this i know right using good resources that you barely have any of on a sword right 13.5. I like that. Okay, and then abilities, if I remember correctly, in my materials and you, uh, let's just go back to this and we go modifiers. And there is slotless. There is also weapon anti-aquatic. Ooh, that'd be nice. Puffer fish on there. I don't know if that's abilities, though. I don't think that's abilities. Um, I don't know what abilities means. Let's see if we can find it here. It doesn't tell you the big tools. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't tell you the big tools in there. Okay. Yeah, I'm not too sure what it means by abilities. Plus one reach distance. That's cool. Okay, let's give this a quick little try um, up at the the old place here. One of the big things that I was kind of looking at as well is the fact that uh, y there's no looting for Tinker's stuff. Uh, so, you know, looting-wise, you're kind of stuck. Okay. Two hits. That's not bad. That's not bad. I can take that. All right. I'm, I'm kind of happy with the cleaver. We'll see if we get a husk head or something like that here uh, very, very shortly. But in the meantime, I'm going to grind a little bit of EXP. All right. So I just got level 30, which is great. But I just earned this. Your knowledge of death increased plus 10. You earned one level. Click here if you want to access the GUI to align, what does it say? To increase one of your perks. What is this? Nobody told me about this. What is this? <coughs> I apologize. I had to cough. Compendium config. Oh, okay. Plus 10%. I have four points or more. And you get an alignment scale. 
Is this because I died? <laughs> Is this a way to like help? Disenchanter. Two enchantments extracted. Ghostly shape. That's, I guess, if you die a lot. Jailer. 20% chance to receive an enchanted key. What does an enchanted key do? Rune inscriber. 10% to not spend a use. Scribe scroll duration treasure seeker. Huh. Voodoo poppet. Prevent suffocation. Huh. This is pretty cool. I definitely want to learn that. Some extra duration there would be pretty nice. I don't know what an enchanted key is, and I kind of want to get it. Sure. Sure. And prevention of suffocation? Sure. Prevention of burning. I, I don't know what this means. 30% chance to find special drops on the undead. That could be useful too. You know what? Let's just kind of go one in all here. Knowledge raises the soul. Bone Crusher. Kill 50 undead creatures. That's all I've killed? Wow. I have not farmed much at all. Um, Curse of the Bones. Chance to apply bone shield when hit. Oh, what? Oh, that's cool. Okay, okay. I'm I'm listening. I'm listening to what you're putting down. All right? I'm listening. Okay, so I did get a zombie head. Now, this is cool because this will actually allow us to get another upgrade as well on our item, which is awesome. So now I can do my, like, pufferfish upgrade if I so choose. Uh, to do so, to do more damage to, like, thrashers and things like that. Um, other than that, I don't... Can, can I use this as a regular anvil? I actually don't know. Can I? No? No, you can't. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Okay, let's go with 2731 iron. Open and let's get ourselves an anvil. Let's go. Anvil time. Uh, right there. Perfect spot. Nailed it. So, no, it doesn't work on that. Okay. So, it probably works on weapons. Probably works on weapons. Chance to apply bone... Bone shield when hit. Hmm, I wonder what that's on. It probably won't tell me either, will it? No, probably not. No, I don't know what that's on. If anybody of you guys know where I can use the Curse of Bones, like I said, it could very well be just a, um, a standard vanilla tool. That I have to put it on um, instead of a tinker's setup as we he have here. Uh, but yeah, a couple of, couple of th fun things. Luck of the Sea. I forgot I had that. And Plague Bringer. Well, there you go. You learned something new. Um, Other than that, I think that's going to be about it for today. I've been working a long time. Um, and... Yeah, I, I've done a decent amount of stuff. A lot of stuff you guys didn't see because... You know, I was building the, the basement, the fort or whatever, um, down, down below. But, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. I got two double stone seed off that. Poggers. Ice essence. Iceman coming. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be about it for us today. And water. Nice. Okay. That's going to be it. Got to call it. Call, call it right there. We just got all those wonderful seeds. And I got to do my watering can action. So thank you all so much. I really do appreciate it. And uh, hopefully before next episode, I have that basement set up. And we can kind of look into what all we're going to put down there. That's the exciting part, right? All right, everyone. Have a good one.